الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلى علی و صحبہ وسلم بیر الحبت فلّہ اسلام از وی مینشن بفور دا کنڈیشن ٹو ہیو آر ڈیڈس ایکسپٹیڈ بائی اللہ عز و جل آر اخلاص و متابع میننگ دیٹ یو ہیو سنسیرٹی ان یور ورشپ ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی لون اینڈ you follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In a beautiful statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah that I wanted to read, where he said, قَالَ الشَّيْخَ الْإِسْلَامِ ibn Taymiyyah وَبِالْجُمْنَ مَعْنَا أَسْلَانْ عَظِيمًا أَحَدُهُمَا أَنْ لَا نَعْبُدُ إِلَّا اللَّهِ وَثَانِي أَنْ لَا نَعْبُدُهُ إِلَّا بِمَا شَرَعَ لَا نَعْبُدُهُ بِعِبَادَةٍ مُبْتَدِعًا الأصلان هما تحقيق شهادة إن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله مجموع الفتاوى. It's a beautiful, beautiful statement of Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah and it requires no further explanation. Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah رحمة الله عليه said and in general the meaning of these two foundations these great foundations one of them is that we do not worship anything or anyone except Allah. And the second is that we do not worship anyone or we do not worship him except with what was legislated, meaning the sunnah. Do not worship him with innovated types of worship. And these two foundations, they are the reality of the meaning of the shahada in la ilaha illallah wa anna muhammad rasulullah ahabatifillah just for clarity that beautiful statement of Shaykh Islam ibn Taymiyyah illustrated those two principles of ibadah that your worship is only to Allah and that it has to be in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that means whatever was legislated by the Quran and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that is the shara. And that the forms and the ways in which we implement that, that ibadah, how we practice that ibadah, that worship, that this is the reality. Those two sincerity and following the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they form and make up the shahada. That's the testimony of faith. When you bear witness, ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. When you bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is his last servant and messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then you are affirming those two foundations. Those two foundations are implicit in the shahada, and I think that's clear, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, and bless Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah with Jannatul Fardos, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.